good morning so i've just got up i have to go to work soon but i felt incredibly compelled to do this recording but i was going to start this recording by saying i'm so sorry that i haven't brushed my hair or brushed my teeth or had a shower <laughs> but actually i look pretty shit hot you're welcome um, in all seriousness, look at me. <laughs> anyway, um, I, shall I like give myself a bit of modesty? I feel like I should. Um, I, I've been wanting to do this video for a little while and it's a bit of a boo-hoo moment, even, at, even though there's nothing to be sad about but I just really need to record it because I just need to acknowledge where I am in my life and how pathetic and lame I'm being. I'm 29 next week and I'm really 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 oh, I haven't brushed my teeth that's gross <laughs> I've got makeup as well around oh my god but even still I wouldn't kick myself out of bed. <laughs> anyway, so I am 29 next week and for as long as I can remember I've been really excited about the prospect of being 30. Um, a lot of my friends used to be like oh I can't stand the idea of being 30 and it's always really excited me and it's excited me for a number of reasons but the main one being is that I like the idea of achieving everything that I want to achieve at that age and then live that life which I envisage and it might sound a bit hippy dippy but like I just I really look forward to it however there's a lot of stuff that I foresee in my future um near future that I haven't achieved just yet and being 29 next week is <laughs> terrifying <laughs> it's terrifying like if only <laughs> like, I'm pretty certain you can hear like the beat of my heart right now because I'm just so fucking anxious yeah and I know that it's pathetic and I know that there'll be some people that watch this video and be like oh god she is moaning about nothing and you're right like I am <laughs> But that doesn't make it any less true. Oh god. So I I want to go travelling more. I want to buy my own house. I want to um start my career um where I can do like videos. I want to make way in doing like eventually, like long term, I would like to have my own online career. I'd like to have my own vegan cookbook, like, that would be the shit! <laughs> and just all of this stuff, and I'm very aware that I haven't achieved that just yet, and I've got 360... I've got 360... no! I've got 370 days to achieve it, unless there's a leap year next year, which I don't think there is. Anyway, I've got a little over a year to achieve like all of this stuff, However, I do need to acknowledge that I'm moving out next, oh, hello, I'm moving out um, next week into a really nice place. It's not my own, but it's really lovely, and my housemate seems wonderful. And then I am excited about going to Peru in October, and, which I haven't told you about, I'm going to Montreal in May. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I booked a ticket to go to Canada for the weekend to go and see a close friend. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so that would be exciting. That would be really nice. And then I hope to see a bit more of the world this year, in addition to Latin America and Canada. Um, and then of course I start my new job. Is it next week? No, it's not next week, it's the following. Um, 
and it's doing stuff that I've always wanted to do like it's writing content and making films and I say this is a film this is a vlog this is just turning on the camera and talking like an idiot but I seem to be all right at it so you know whatever we all have our strengths <laughs> so yeah that is uh, that's it for me I'm a bit nervous about being 29 and I'm need to get my life together but before I love you and leave you because I do eventually need to have a shower because I am disgusting I just wanted to acknowledge this so one of my best friends Sophie she got me probably the most thoughtful present I've ever received um, and it's a jar of inspirational quotes and I've been told that there's 365 of them so it is my wonderful task of each morning to inspire myself um, with a little pick-me-up in the morning. I swear to God, because Sophie's the type of person that will... That's really fucking funny. And I just know that if I were to do this gift, <laughs> there would be like one or two really sarcastic, almost bordering on like nasty quotes like, you're going to die tomorrow. Lols. <laughs> so I don't know whether Sophie has done this, <laughs> but I think I might love her a little bit more should she have done. So because I'm feeling a little blue today, God, I really need to get a fucking grip. Um, I figured I would do it on camera. So which one should I do? I'm feeling good about this one. Right, let's pop that aside. So it says, <laughs> it's quite, it's quite key. <laughs> it says, it's never too late to be what might have been. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's true, it's true. So I'm going to leave on that note and I'm going to remind myself of this. And oh, can we just acknowledge that I have arm definition for like the 10th time? Like, I've never had that. Like, I have some things going for me, don't I? <laughs> I'm gonna go. Right, um, see you later.